Uncharted 2 Among Thieves was developed by Naughty Dog and published by Sony Computer Entertainment exclusively for the PlayStation 3. The game was announced in the January 2009 issue of Game Informer. Amy Henning, director of the first Uncharted game, directed Uncharted 2 along with Bruce Straley who worked on the previous game as an artist. Work began on Uncharted 2 after they received praise for the first game. Besides expanding on the game's story, Uncharted 2 is the first game in the series to have multiplayer. There was a bit of controversy going on at the time, primarily of single player games having tacked on multiplayer. Naughty Dog wanted to make sure they had a dedicated multiplayer, so they hired a designer to work specifically on the online multiplayer. The game released on October 13, 2009 for the PlayStation 3. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves takes place about a year after the events from Drake's Fortune. The game starts off with Nathan left bloodied and injured in the mountains fighting his way through the snow. The game then flashes back to a few months showing how all of this happened. The story begins with Nathan meeting up with Harry Flynn and his girlfriend Chloe Fraser, where they explain how they are working for a nutcase who is after an oil lamp locked in a museum. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Alright, look. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the Lost Fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Chloe and Nathan discuss plans in secret to run away together. Inside the lamp, they discover the blue resin and a map to Marco Polo's lost fleet carrying the Chintamani stone, a stone that can only be found in the lost city of gold, Shambhala. However, during the museum heist, Flynn double crosses Nate and leaves him to get captured by the police. Uh, come on, throw me the rope, don't be stupid. Oh yeah, right, you're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Oh, shit! 
Do you think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flynn, listen. Face it, genius. You've been played. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Three months later, Nate is released from jail by his friend and mentor, Victor Sullivan, who got help from Chloe. They reveal that Harry Flynn's nutcase client is Zoran Lazarevich, a warlord who is after the Chintamani Stone. Unbelievable. You just can't help yourself, can you? I guess that makes us even. Not quite. This little man is Drake. Mm. Did you carry him all the way from the temple? Shame. No! Now, tell me what you found in the temple. The answer that you're looking for. Okay? I know where the stone is, but you're not gonna find it without me. So just... just let her go, and I will lead you right to it. Ah, my shadow. You are the reporter who has been biting at my heels. You better pray that he is not bluffing. Search him. Come on. <laughs> that is brilliant, mate. Yeah. <laughs> it appears you have nothing to bargain with, Mr. Drake. Now it is up to Nathan Drake and his gang to stop Lazarevich from uncovering the true power of the Chintamani Stone and the secrets hidden in Shambhala. The gameplay for Uncharted 2 is the same as Drake's Fortune, with some improvements on the core mechanics. For one, they removed the motion controls from Drake's Fortune and the quick time events. The controls were also tweaked to better suit the third person action. One of the big changes was the hand to hand combat. They removed the light and heavy attack combo system and now you simply use one button to attack and another button to counter the enemy's attacks. The game still uses a third person cover system for the shootouts, and the game has plenty of set piece moments such as fighting helicopters and jumping out of collapsing buildings. Critics and audiences loved Uncharted 2 Among Thieves as the game received universal acclaim across the board. Game Informer and PlayStation the official magazine both gave the game a perfect score saying, forget game of the year, this is one of the greatest games of all time. Uncharted 2 Among Thieves would go on to win several awards for its graphics, story, and acting. Son of a bitch. Now what do you do? Just stay behind me. Drop the gun. Do it! Stay back! Shit. I should have killed you myself when I had the chance. Not a mistake I will make twice. Back off! Oh, pull the trigger, little one. See how long you live. Now, you will open the passage to Shambhala. Go to hell. <laughs> Are you a student of history, Mr. Drake? I've read a book or two. Mm. Genghis Khan, Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot, they were all great men. But do you know why they prevailed? I'm sure you're gonna tell us. Because they had the will to do what other men would not. <laughs> Compassion is the enemy. Mercy defeats us. Now, unless you wish to test me still further, you will drop your weapons! But the success doesn't end there, as the game would go on to win over 10 different Game of the Year awards from both critic and fan publications.
That is it for this episode of Game Mode Review. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe to the Game Rangers for more videos.